breach the sanctum of the ancients, the first footfalls in this tomb for centuries. This place gives me the creeps after you. More of a good thing is always better, right? Well, that is not the case in the games industry. A game series can come along and change things up, but if it doesn't innovate within the series, it can quickly become stale. This was the case for the Tomb Raider series. The first one was a major advance for the 3D adventure games, but each entry failed to live up to the first game. And by the time the fourth game came around, the series was in need for a change. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation sees Lara Croft on a new adventure, this time in Egypt, where she is in search of the Amulet of Horus. The storyline starts with a young Lara exploring a temple in Cambodia with her mentor Werner von Croy. After a mishap, the story fast forwards to present day Egypt, where you will explore Cairo, the Valley of the Kings, and Giza. The new locations are a major change from previous games. Instead of exploring jungles with trees and wildlife, you will be in a desert which is filled with sand, sand, and even more sand. And these levels are brought to life with some much improved graphics. And the worlds are now easier to explore, with Lara seeing plenty of new moves. The heroine can now swing on ropes to cross large gaps and shimmy around corners. She can also climb up and down poles. Oh, get your head out of the gutter! These improvements make Miss Croft just that much more realistic. The puzzles in the game are also back, and this time a little bit more complicated because of a new feature. Lara can now combine items. This means that key items will be broken up and scattered through the level, or across different levels. Also, you can now return to levels to find new items. So, expect to reach a point where you don't have a piece for an item you need and have to retrace your steps to find the part that you are missing. Realistic? Yes. Frustrating? You better believe it. Well, at this point, the series was to an outsider just the same game again with a new background. But to fans, this was the most refined and beautiful looking Tomb Raider game yet. Ah! <sighs> 